Hey everyone, it's Tyler D, and we are back with Sally Face Chapter 4. And I am so excited to do this. So in the last episode, um, was Chapter 3, and I think that was a baloney episode. I think so. I don't know, it's been a while. Huh, where's my cell phone? Oh, where's my cell phone? Okay, um, oh yeah, we're in a whole different area. A very own local mystery. In other news, Knockville Mills was engulfed in flames this morning. Firefighters rushed to the scene, but by the time they were able to eliminate the fire, a majority of the building and materials had already been destroyed. The factory has been a major source of employment for our small town since 1934. This is the third time the building has caught fire, but never have we seen such devastation as today. The authorities believe the fire to be a result of foul play, but it couldn't stay any more at this time. Earlier this year was also the anniversary of the previous fire, the second largest of the three, where over 20 people died. Luckily this time, there were no casualties. However, three factory workers are currently in a hospital with minor injuries. Currently, it is unclear as to whether the owners can afford to rebuild the mill that had been on a slow decline for the past decade and have been struggling financially. If they don't rebuild, many families will lose their main source of income. We'll keep you updated as we receive more details. Dang. Is there anything else? Not really in the mood. Aww. Poor Sally face. Okay. Oh, the truth basement. Okay, nothing over here. Hey, Gizmo. Dude, really? What do you keep getting these stickers? I love it. Oh my goodness. I love the stickers. I do. Those are great. And I love how Gizmo is still around after all these years. It's, it's really good seeing like this, you know, the same characters. Especially like a minor character like such as Gizmo. Okay. Let's see what's in this room. Man, I don't know why, but every time I see a door open, it's like it creeps me out so much. Okay. Oh, I like that plant. Okay, let's go upstairs. Neil. Morning, Salio. What's happening? That is such a cute nickname, Salio. Hey, Neil. No pictures today, huh? I don't think I've ever seen you with your hair down. I almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> yeah. You feeling alright, man? You seem out of it. Oh, um, yeah, I'm alright. Have you been sleeping okay? I heard you get up a few times last night. There's a fresh pot of coffee downstairs. I know you're not a big fan, but you should have a cup. It'll do you good. I never start the day without my caffeine fix. Thanks. I guess I am feeling a little better. Not a problem, Salio. Um, have you seen my cell phone? I can't find it anywhere. Oh, yeah, I found it outside last night on the porch. I didn't want to leave it there, so I brought it in. I almost forgot I had it. Thanks. I didn't realize I left it outside. No worries, happy to the best of us. Here you go, man. Oh, um, yeah, what's hard? Here's class this morning. Oh, right. How goes the job hunting? Oh, ghost hunting. Todd was saying that it's been pretty slow lately on the front. Slow? I wish. Uh, I mean, yeah, slow. It's, it's been slow. You boys are trying to keep me protected again, aren't you? It's sweet, but you know I can handle myself, right? Plus, I am two years older than y'all, too. No, I know. It's just that we... Yeah, yeah, four friends made a pact five years ago, and I can respect the loyalty behind that. Actually, I think it's pretty dang cute. <laughs> Speaking of cute, I heard that the lovely Ash was coming in town today. The lone wolf, the four horsemen returns. Are you excited? We're supposed to catch up this afternoon, so that's a no on the excitement then. No, I can't wait to see her. I'm just, you know, feeling tired today. There's still coffee downstairs. Calling your name, Sally Face, come get some. Did you hear strange noises? Um, you're gonna have to be a bit more specific, Mr. Sleepyhead. Last night, I thought I heard something, like a weird siren. I didn't hear anything like that. Maybe Gizmo was up watching TV? No, it wasn't that. It was kind of like a... Oh, never mind. Probably just that night. Gosh, man, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm good. How's work going? Ow, shoot! Work. I'm supposed to be called for the morning shift today. Gotta run, sally -o. Catch you later. What if you should already been if it's a morning shift? Because that sound looks like it's pretty up. There's enough for part of me. Sal here, hear the code. Ah. Okay. 
way. Let's see, what else is in the house? Neil loves this stuff, but I hate the taste. No thanks. Man, they have a nice house. It's so bright outside. Exactly. Like, why is he? Is he coming the night, uh, the morning shift? Then why is he just now going to work? That makes no sense. Bathroom. Okay. I think the outside is downstairs. Man, this one's such a cool cat. He's so freaking chill. Oh crap. What's that what's the password? Four three five three six four. 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 Oh three five three six four. Four. Oh dang it. Okay. Four. Oh three. Dang it! Okay. Four. Oh. Three. Five. Three. Six. Four. There we go. It took me a while. Like, I knew I was gonna get it. I can't believe we've been working on this for five years now. It feels like the more connections we find, the less sense it makes. It all makes. Dang. Oh, this Megan. Oh. Oh, sad. Lost symbols, UFO. Dang. There's a Rubik's co cube. Um, stuff. Is the cult still operating? If so, then where are they? Where are they all? Ah, workstation. It was cool about to give some funds for new equipment. When he found out that we was up to, he basically thought we were life ghost nappers. Oh, huh? What's this little tape? Phantom. I saw the faded shape of a man. There's something important about him. I can feel it, like a distant memory itching at the back of my skull. His image is fleeting. It flickers in and out of view. It's as if he's trapped in a parallel reality, a phantom just out of reach. Or perhaps I am the phantom and he resides in the land of the living? I've cried for his attention. I don't think he can see or hear me. What's with her mouth? Like, that's so weird. That's so weird. Like, that's not normal at all. Okay. Um, what is there to do? What else? Well, I got my cell phone now. It reminds me of the old walkie talkie days. The battery is dead. Oh, okay, that's right. Anything in the bathroom I needed? No. Okay, didn't think so. Um, I just I just want to make sure I got everything. I'll check back in a minute. It's still charging. Okay. Cause I'm gonna talk to Neil again. Up, he's gone. Oh yeah, I forgot he went. Man, I love this sky view. That's so pretty. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I'm missing. At least I hope not. Maybe this is done? Looks like it's charged now. That's a new message from Larry. Oh. Are you awake? Uh, reply. I am now. What's up? Something is wrong with Addison Apartments. Other than it goes to creepy basement? I'm serious. I'm coming over. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to talk to him. Is there anything in this house? Anything I can use my cell phone on? Sorry, I thought I saw something in this. Give me a few minutes. Okay, text me when you're ready. So is there anything in this house that I am forgetting? Because I don't think I am. 
uh, you know, I just I just want to make sure, you know, because in this game, if you miss something, you don't get to go back. I don't understand why that room is open. You know, like I feel like there's something that should be in there. Dude, really? What do you keep getting these stickers? That guy's so cute. He is so chill. Okay, I guess I guess it's nothing. I'm away now. What now? What do we plan? Oh wow. Episode four, the trial. This all seems to be a dramatic change from your original story, Mr. Fisher. Isn't it true you had initially stated that you were not in contact with Larry Johnson? Yes. So you admit to lying in your original statements? Yes, I was in shock from what had happened and thought that the truth would be more harmful. That no one would believe me. I didn't know what else to do. And how can we trust anything you say now? How are we to... This is for what is true and what is a lie. All I have left is the truth. It's a part of that people hear what I have to say. Whether they believe it or not, well, I hope for their sake that they do. Is that a threat? It's a warning. Would you have us believe that there is still a killer on the loose in Knockville? That's all of the evidence presented today, the victim's blood on your clothes and skin, your fingerprints on a murder weapon, the security footage, the eyewitness accounts, that all of these things were some elaborate cover-up created by who? The county police department? If it's all right for the court, I'd like to continue my testimony. It's important that the story be told chronologically. In order to prevent details from being taken out of context, well, more so than they already have been. I'll allow it. Please, continue with the testimony, Mr. Fisher. We realize we'll expect answers to these questions the prosecution has presented. Everything will be answered. Then proceed. Oh, Sally, what did you do? I'm telling you, dude, something is serious wrong. Did you see the demon again? No, I haven't seen it since we blasted years ago. I even went through every inch of the building this morning with the super gearball and found nothing. All the ghosts have been missing for weeks. That is a little odd. Though who's to say it's a bad thing? Maybe they were able to finally pass on. I don't know, man. I've been getting this horrible feeling. Like something under my skin, crawling around, itching at the back of my skull. It's like the quiet before the storm or some shit. I can feel it. Huh. What? Du de vu. I've been getting that feeling too. Like everything is foggy and there's something there just beyond the fog, just waiting. Yes, exactly. Whatever it is, it's coming from the apartment. So you're gonna come and check it out or what? Of course I will. Okay. Um, is there anything? Should we get Todd? He has class today. Oh, alright. I was hoping we would get in, but he'd have a new gadget or something. He had some work or something, but I don't think it's finished yet. The guitar modes are frowning down, but Todd hasn't shown me how to use it yet. So, best not to mess with it. Hopefully it works better than that box thing he made last year. Yeah, I'd like to keep my guitar in one piece. So, are you all packed up? Almost. I want to get the rest moved over this weekend. It'd be nice to finally get out of the basement. Cool. Todd said we can have the vent, too. Sweet. Yeah. This, this place is cute. Like, this place is really cute. Except for the dead animal. That's sad. Can I use it? No new messages. Oh, okay. Oh, what? This is a cemetery. A church. God sees all. Oh, it's kind of. I mean, yeah. 
out of the apartment. Can I just keep going straight? Nope, okay. Man, they live out in the middle of nowhere. Looks like you're right about that storm. Alright, let's do this. Right behind you. Okay. Mr. Addison has been storing the stuff in here for so long. I bet he doesn't remember what's in all these boxes. They're probably filled with stuff from when his family was alive. Yeah, some of them are. The rest are like old clothes, old tea sets, cookbooks. Just a bunch of old junk. Larry! What? You snoop through Terrence's things? Well, yeah, dude. How could I not? The guy never leaves his room. Plus, I also want to make sure he wasn't involved with the cold or hiding body scene or anything weird. But it's all just normal, boring old man stuff. Okay, fair enough, I guess. That will be weird. Next time you plan on doing snow anything around, make sure you let me know. Hit. <laughs> will do. Okay, so nothing in this. But then why would that be empty? Well, good morning, young sirs. How are you two doing on this fine day? We're doing okay. How about you? I'm just wonderful. Things have been so peaceful in the building. Though, of course, we do miss having our dear Sal Fisher with us. And I'll be sad to see Larry going as well. I'll miss it here too, but it'll be nice to get out of that basement. But it's only right down the road. I understand. Our young lads are all grown up now and ready for the next stage of their lives. I'm excited for you both. You know, I wish you both nothing but the best. You truly deserve it. Thanks. Thank you, Terrence. Hello again, young sirs. Hello. Uh, hey. <laughs> Alright, talk to you later. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. Oh, Miss Robinson's place. Why did they leave all of Robinson's stuff in here again? I just just think she's on vacation or something and that she'll come back. I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh. Oh. I'm still not really sure what happened to her. You said she just, like, disappeared, right? Yeah, but it was more than that. She appeared as a ghost before vanishing. I don't think she was fully human. Oh, right. I remember you saying that. She was in a cold for a while, but then stopped them. Or tried to stop them, which would have made her super old. Uh, I think she was a demon. I don't think she was a demon. I don't think she was an alien. Maybe a witch. That would make sense. No, if she had powers, why would Rosenberg just move around this apartment? Maybe she was too old, or maybe she just given up. If I had powers, I would never retire. I'd be getting into all kinds of trouble. Heh, <laughs> I know you would. You're such a cute friend. Are you getting a hint of the super gear boy in here? Nothing. Dang. Oh, what's this? Huh, what is it? It's a tooth. Gross, dude. You picked it all up with your bare hand? I'm not just gonna leave it there. What do we need it for something? What could we possibly need someone's tooth for? Hi, I'm Sally Face, and this is my friend Larry. We reached a paranormal and occult activity in the town of Knockville, where everything weird can and does happen. Good point. <laughs> so weird. Yeah! What do you want, Sal? Why is he here? Hey, Mrs. Gibson, you were. Well, that's par for the course. That lady sure can hold a grudge. Yeah, what did he do to her anyways? I don't remember at all. Like, I seriously do not remember. Okay, let's check the basement. Okay, let me check the lost phone. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot there was a door over here now. Uh, better one. Kitchen. Ooh, nothing over here. Nope. Shit, I must have dropped the key somewhere this morning when I was looking around. When was the last place you remember having it? I have no idea. I could have sworn it was still in my pocket. I'm sure it'll show up somewhere. Hmm. Okay. Go to basement one. Oh, okay. Another tooth? Yeah. Maybe it's a clue or something. Maybe. That's so weird, though. Um, I go to the bathroom real fast. Ugh, there's blood all over the toilet. He does not take care of his apartment at all.
It's weird to be leaving after living for so long. I felt that way when we left New Jersey. But it was a change I didn't know I needed at the time. So I'm glad it worked out the way it did. Yeah, it'd be awesome to room up room with you and Todd. I can't wait for that, honestly. Still. And I know I'm not going far, but it's still a little sad for some reason. It's a big change, Larry. It's okay to feel emotional about it. You okay? Yeah, I'm cool. Let's keep look keep looking around. Nothing here, nothing there. Oh, his room's all, oh man. Do you remember the first time I saw you without your mask? How could I forget? You were head banging so hard, it flew right off and whacked me in the face, hey? You were so worried about my bloody nose that you didn't even notice at first. I felt bad. Yeah, but then once I told you I was fine, why did you cry? Because you didn't look away. Oh. Do you ever take that new Sanity's fall song? Yeah, man, you wanna hear it? Yes. Okay, I'm digging. They're gonna do the headbanging? Are they? Is there no headbanging? Oh, what happened to you, boy? What happened? They're not even headbanging at all. That kind of makes me sad. Like, they should be headbanging. Oh, They should be headbanging. My boy's all grown up. I still can't believe my dad abandoned us. It doesn't feel like him. It doesn't feel real. I, uh, I don't... I know there's something you even keep it from yourself. Something about my dad, you're horrible at keeping secrets. It's okay, man. I haven't mentioned before because I trust you. If you're keeping something from me, it's because you have to, right? Let him tell the truth. I feel like I should tell him the truth, but... Maybe the truth be so hard. I'm just gonna lie. No, I don't know anything. I'm sorry. I, I guess I don't know what to say sometimes. Alright, dude. It's fine. Forget it. Oh, no. I made him sad. Oh, oh, look at the photo of him and his dad. His wind, like, blowing in a wind. Oh, his hair blowing in a wind. Oh, I should have told him the truth. I feel bad now. Oh, well. It happens. Okay. Like, I just love Larry's hair. I just love how it, like, you know, blows. You know, it just, it looks so freaking pretty. Like, it kind of looks like a mullet, low-key. It low-key kind of looks like a mullet. But it's not that bad. They're not gonna headbang at all. That's sad. I I don't like this. I don't like the fact that they're not headbanging. You know, it's like it's weird that they're not headbanging. Okay, what else? I need to leave. Alright, let's go to the second floor, because I haven't been there yet. Oh, it's Todd's place! Sally Face and Larry Bear, this is a pleasant surprise. Hi Janice, hey. What brings you two here? Um, just saying hi. Hello! <laughs> uh, hello. Hi. Hehe. <laughs> Aw, she seems fun. Bathroom. Do those boys just go into the bathroom together? <laughs> Greg, are you here? Hello? Not getting anything on the Superboy? Oh yeah, God, the first ghost we ever saw was in this bathroom. There's another tooth. The tooth will set you free. Dude, no. <laughs> oh, punt. Why do they have a tooth though? I don't like any of these kitchens. Like, the appliances are so old. Hehe. <laughs> Okay, she's just, she's just happy. She's like, hey, hey. it's love. Okay. Oh, wow. That would explain a lot. Hey, guys. Larry, are you back for more already? Nah, I'm cool, Ray. Thanks. Hey, Mr. Morrison. So, have you seen the garden yet? What do you think? Uh, it's a bit much. It's great. Isn't it, though? It's a thing of true beauty. 
How did you get all of this stuff anyway? Well, if I told you that, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> but really, this isn't exactly legal per se. So I'd appreciate you guys keeping this our little secret. And of course, I'd be happy to supply you with some produce whenever you like. Your secret's safe with us. You don't have to worry about that. I didn't think so, but you can never be too safe. I know, Todd isn't super fond of the fact that we turned his old bedroom into a garden, but he knows how happy it makes us. He also knows that nothing will fill the Todd-shaped hole in our hearts. Aww. He's like to have such loving parents and such good friends. I'm damn proud of you, boys. Damn proud. One day, we'll all return to the stars. Totally. Oh. Wow, they have a lot of plants. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Okay, and practices. Man, it still reeks in here. Yeah, it does. Um, getting any readings in the gear boy here? Nope, even your little goat body's hiding. That's so weird. Oh god, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. This definitely looks nasty. Like, it just looks so nasty. I wonder what they did with Mr. Paxton's body. Well, at least he wants to serve that lunch meat. Yeah, hopefully not. Huh, there's a tear in the carpet here. I can't pull it by hand, though. Hmm. should have known these guys weren't real cops. I had a weird feeling about them. I don't know how they cleared this place at, oh, out overnight with just the two of them. They were definitely the same dudes pretending to be cops with Mr. Mrs. Sanderson died too. I saw them leaving in the morning. I saw them too, remember? Yeah, maybe that's why they came overnight. Because they knew we'd recognize them somehow. Todd still hasn't been able to figure out their true identities, huh? No, but I could have sworn I saw one of them going to their church a few weeks ago. I've been keeping an eye out every day. Now... They've been having a lot of meetings over there. That's like a normal church thing, though. Meetings and whatnot could be nothing, or it could be something. That church did always give me the creeps. We went up to Chapel Hill a few times on holidays when I was younger. I've been talking to Todd about setting up some hidden cameras and audio recorders up there just to check it out. Cool. I'm done for some good old oh, B&E. B&E? Breaking and injury. Come on, dude. Oh, right. Sally's face is so short. Like, compared to all of his friends, he is such a tiny dude. Okay, um... So he can actually do anything here, because I don't have a knife. Alright, let's go over here. Two or three. Oh! A pocket knife score! Nice, that could come in handy. Oh, I could probably use that for the carpet. Okay, I'm gonna go do that. Okay. Todd, nope. It's accidents. Okay. Um, I think it's in this room, actually. Yeah, it is. Okay, awesome. Pocket knife, yes. Sweet! I'm so smart, guys. Oh, crap. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I know this. Okay. I think because in the very, very beginning, or the very, very ending of the last episode had the the numbers on a wall, you know, from his dream. So that might be it. Three, four, two. Luckily, I wrote it down. Otherwise, I would not have remembered. What? Three, four, two. Crap. Six nine seven. Crap. Okay. Three four two. Six nine seven. Okay, maybe maybe not all of those numbers. 97? 3, 4, 6, nine. Maybe. Oh no, it, it can never be too easy. 3, 4, 9, 7. 
Yeah. Maybe it's a U. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure this one out and I will be back. And hopefully, I pause this. Perfect. There's a VHS tape inside. Others. There are others here, parallel to this place, like the man. They're not sinister like he seems to be. They are harder to see and appear less often as something else. Something ominous looks beyond my vision. Even though my sisters can't make it out, I can feel its presence. I can feel its gaze piercing through me. What's left of my humanity is crumbling away in its void. I feel what I am to become in such endless isolation. Oh, wow. Then he shut the whole freaking thing right down his throat. The whole thing, can you believe it? Chuck is an animal, dude. I love that guy. What? <laughs> what? Dude, are you even listening to me? Sorry, I zoned out for a second. No worries. No, 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 no. What was... There's nothing left inside. No, 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 no. What? What was Chuck doing? What? What was he doing? Um, okay. Alright, let me see. Alright, let me go over here. And I already got... Okay, I already done this one. Let me do two or four. Did you see on the news that they say Charlie was going to be released? I did, but that's not the real Charlie. What do you think he is now? The real Charlie, I mean. Most likely, the code probably has him or killed him. Maybe he ended up in a baloney. Ugh, as much as I didn't get along with that dude, no one deserves to be made to baloney. Charlie was a little strange, but he was a good guy. I was starting to like him before we before we thought he was a murderer. Man, we kind of screwed him over, didn't we? It wasn't our fault. We couldn't have known. And you saw him kill her with your own eyes. I still have nightmares about that. Poor Larry. Larry, why, why are you leaving me? What, why, why is he leaving me? Larry, come back. Larry, we're supposed to be teams. You're not supposed to leave me. Okay, I guess there's nothing in here. Huh, I didn't see anything in here. Okay. Okay, so we're on elevator three. Okay. David's place. Hey, Sal. Hey, Larry. What's you up to? Hey, David. We'll just check in with everyone. How are things going? That's oh, awfully kind of you, but I'm afraid I can't talk much at the moment. Sarah isn't feeling well, you see, so I gotta take care of her. Sorry to hear that. Hope she gets well soon. We'll be around if you need anything. Thanks, you. Thank you both. Mm. Oh, CJ. Yo, what's up, guys? Yo. Hey, CJ, are you having a party tonight or something? Nah, but Z and Sierra are coming over later. Gonna be like old times. You should just stop by if you can. Sounds cool. We'll keep that in mind. Cool, cool. Um, is there anything in here? Guess not. Take it easy, dudes. Okay. Okay, um... Chuck's place. Hey, guys! Oh, Maple! He married Maple and they have a kid? That's so cute! Hi, Sal! Oh, uh, hey, hey, Larry. Sorry, Faze! Oh. That is so cute. Chug and Mape, aww. Hey guys. Yo. You two look like you're up to no good as usual. Glad to see something stay the same. Oh, are you guys working on another one of your secret cases? It wouldn't be a secret we told you now, would it? I suppose not. Um, notice anything weird? Nope, it's been nice and goes free. No spooky stuff for us. Let's hope it stays that way. How are you two? We're doing, we're good, you know, it's ups and downs. Mostly good, though. Yeah, how have you been, Sal? Haven't, you, haven't seen you around in a little while. I've been okay. Keeping busy with school and whatnot. So, Chug, I heard that your parents moved out. They left a few months ago. Two crowned here with all of us. Plus, they wanted to give us privacy. It's been nice. That was nice of them to give you guys the apartment. That reminds me, I'm supposed to go visit my parents tonight. Are you okay to watch Soda while I'm gone, babe? Of course. That is so cute. I'm happy for them. I really am. That is so cute and so... Hiya, Soda! How's my best baby doing? Hehe! <laughs> wanna go for a ride on Uncle Sal's shoulder? Oh, Sal, she has a bit of a rash right now. You're not, you might not want to pick her up. 
thanks for the heads up. Mommy, yes love, I want a white on Unky Sauce Sodors. Not today, Muffin, okay? Remember what I said this morning? Oh, uh, okay. Aw, uh, don't worry, little so. If you take the medicine you got from the doctor this morning, we'll have you flying around no time. He promised? I promise. You bet. He, he. She is so cute. She is adorable. Ooh, why is 3 4 open? Oh, I'm scared. Oh. Oh, why is. Another tooth? You want the tooth? You can't handle the tooth. Why is there so many teeth? Let's, what do they all look like? North? S? Maybe? Maybe directions? So I'm missing one. I need one more. Okay. Wait, did I? One second. Okay, David, please. Okay, so I did went to all the rooms. I can't remember if I went to all the rooms or not. Oh, fam whoa! They got married? Hey, Dad. Hey, Lisa. Hey, guys. Hi, fellas. Yo. Hey, when's the last time we had the entire family together like this? Uh, like a couple weeks ago? <laughs> Sal. We should all have dinner together tonight. Come on, what do you say, boys? Lisa's going to show me the secret to making her lasagna. Mm, your lasagna is the best, Lisa. Aw, oh, thank you, sweetie. I'm not gonna say no to free dinner. Actually, I have plans tonight, but if I'm done early, I'll come over. Okay, we'll have Larry and Sid message you, or whatever you kids do once dinner is ready. It's called texting, Dad. Right, right, that. Sounds good. That is cute. So they'll br- so it's not only Sally and Larry friends, but the brothers now. That is so cute. They take photos together. They got married. That is so cute. That is adorable. Okay. That is truly cute. Good for them. Good for them. That's office. Oh, he turned my room into an office? Man, that's dumb. Can I do anything here? Nope. Can I do anything? Nope. Use. No new messages. Okay, so the phone's pretty worthless now. Aww. Okay, so there's nothing really in here. Robert's place. Whoa. Hey, hey. There's my ghost nabbers. Hey, dude. Hey, Rob. How goes the hunting? Um, that's top secret. Sally, my man. I'm an investor. You can share even a little detail with me. Actually, we're looking into something right now. That's why we're here. Have you seen anything strange lately? Anything at all? Hmm. But I got this weird rash on my left foot. If you guys could take a whiff and let me know what you... Uh, I don't, I don't think we're really qualified for that. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. My feet are fine. If they're so fine, why don't you marry them? <laughs> Larry, you fucking nutter. <laughs> fucking nutter. Keep me posted, fellas. I just like how Larry, oh, how Sally and Larry just walk in any building they want, any apartment they want, you know? They're like, oh, I don't, I don't need to know y'all. Ooh, four, three. Oh, the music changed. Ooh, Mr. Sanderson. Oh, sorry, we didn't realize anyone was in here. Mr. Sanderson? Hi, Larry. I was just saying goodbye to Sandy. Saying goodbye? I'm leaving Knoxville tonight. I just, I need to leave this place. It's understandable, man. You've been through a lot. Have you, this may sound a bit odd, but have either of you seen my wife around? I don't know if you believe in ghosts, I guess. I was just hoping I could speak with her once more. Um. We have seen her, cause they, I believe sure they visited us and was the first person that died, you know, in a Sally, cause that was on episode one, we have seen her. Oh dear, I was afraid of this, how is my angel doing? I haven't been able to contact her at all, she misses you a lot, she's lonely here, but we haven't seen her for a little while, my poor Sandy, she didn't deserve this. What is it that you were afraid of, huh? You said I was afraid of this, of what exactly? Um, never mind, I'm just upset, that's all. Oh, sorry, Oh. 
Would you please do me a favor and just give me a moment alone here? Sure, Mr. Sandin. That's no problem. Pleasure if you need anything. Thank you, Larry. That's so sad. We should let Herman be alone. The dude, the poor dude, the wreck. Do you think the console will let him leave, Dunkville? I hope so, man. Hasn't he been through enough? Yeah, but if he was involved with the cold before his wife died, and then try to get out, like we think he did, I'm sure they're keeping an eye on him. You're probably right, but they've been quiet for so long now. Maybe they aren't operating anymore or whatever. Or maybe they've been laying low, waiting for the right moment. Maybe. Either way, we will find them. Four, four. Mmm, it's scary. And there's a tape here, but it's broken. Um, let me see if I can use a pocket. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Bridge. Why? Why won't you answer me every passing moment of silence staring down upon you with no remorse? They're gathering us as we speak, and they mean to open a vortex. Perhaps it is this word, a bridge between us and them. Does this not arouse your attention in any way at all? Sometimes I wonder if you're even real. If there's anyone behind that lens or just a corpse decaying at the helm, my pleas for help infinitely anchoring into the vast emptiness of death. Wow. Dang, that's deep. But I mean, if all of us are down, I'm down. I don't really care what people say. What do you think? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Really? I wasn't sure if you'd be into that idea. We should probably revisit this conversation again later. My mind's a little fuzzy right now. You glitched out again while I was talking, didn't you? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay, dude. I know you can't control it. Did you get anything useful from it this time? I think so, but, we're st but I'm still trying to pe piece it together. So weird. Okay, so that's all the floors. So I don't think I'm missing anything. I just noticed the cameras all missing. A lot of the cameras have been missing. And two five. This big old scary five. Oh, I don't like five. I hate five. No, but huh? What? Looks like it's a hidden pedal on the floor it's working. I've never noticed it before. That's weird. There's a loose screw in it. Almost like someone had tried to open it. Huh, okay. Huh, I need a screwdriver or something to open this. Maybe my handy dandy... Maybe my handy dandy... Um, thing? I don't... Um... Use. Um, made a, oh, so the compass. Uh, I think it's backward, oh, upside down, because that's the stick was backwards. First, south, east. Okay, so I'm missing one. Okay. Okay. So weird. Holy shit, Pickle. You've made a mistake. What the hell, man? The end will be us all. What does that even mean? You can't be staying in here. The darkness blinds. Who is that guy? Dude's getting the shit out of me. I've caught it the bomb sleeping up here before, too. I wonder what he meant. It just sounded like crazy jumpers to me, man. I don't know, Larry. It sounded pretty intense to me. Oh, I got the other tooth. What? No stupid pun this time? I can't really think of any to tell you the truth. <laughs> oh, Larry. He is such a babe. He is so adorable. He really is. Okay. Now, before I do that, let me check the other rooms. Because I don't want to miss anything. Okay, like... Oh, like right here. See, I could have missed another tape. Hunger. Whoa. Hunger has been tearing my stomach and yet I don't die. How long has it been? It's impossible to tell in this endless night. How long was I rot in this fucking prison? No food, no light, no sleep, no contact, nothing. Nothing. Just glimpses of life beyond my reach. I wish they would open that goddamn vortex already. I wish they would tear this world apart. I wish this would all end. I need this to end. Whoa. So I have one, two, three, four. I have four tapes I need to find. 
but I don't know what they all did because I'm pretty sure I went through every single room. So hopefully I won't miss anything. But Daddy stay in this room before him and my mom got together. Really? That was before it all it got all flooded up here or whatever happened. Dang. Okay, last room. Mm. Megan? Hello, are you with us? Nothing on the Super Gear Boy. Hey, where did her necklace go? Huh, I didn't notice it was gone before. That's weird. Maybe that's why she's not coming out. What about the rest of them? I don't know. Huh, I wonder where I make it then. I wonder if I need to find her thing. At least I don't know. See, I don't know if I'll find, be able to find any of the... Did you remove these? Yeah, I did this morning when I was looking around. Okay, let's double check in here. Like, I don't want to accidentally leave, you know, or carry on and then not be able to go back. Stacy, are you there? Nothing on the gear, boy. Stacy was always difficult to summon, so I'm not surprised she's not showing up now. True. I hope I, she's at least with Megan. Oh, I hate the hole. Oh, I hate the hole so much. Oh, I hate the hole. <laughs> So much death and destruction on the one roof. Yeah, I feel bad for the homeless family. They didn't deserve what happened to them. And as much as I want to hate Lou for what he did, I can't help but feel sorry for the dude. He brought it on himself by helping the console summon the demon. It just sucks that he had to get Stacy and Megan caught up in it. Do you think it's really dead? The red-eyed demon? Yeah, I know Todd's blast has supposedly destroyed it, but it seems a little too easy, did it? I know what you mean. I thought the same thing before. But we haven't seen any sign of it for years now. What if, like... We only wounded it and it's just waiting in the dark somehow, somewhere until it gets better. Then we blast it back to hell again when it shows up. If demons are real, it's so weird. Do you think there are angels too in heaven and hell? God and devil? Is all of it real? Um, I hope so. I go back and forth on all of that. But I hope there is something good out there, something better than this. I never used to believe in anything supernatural before. Now, with everything we've seen, I'm not so sure what I believe in. I've always had the feeling that there's something bigger going on. I just never really knew what it was or what that meant. I still don't. Maybe I wonder how the demon was able to possess Luke after, even after he died. Who knows? I don't see anything, and I don't think I miss anything neither. You know, at least I hope not. You know, because once I leave, you know, that'll be it. So, let me do another quick swoop around and I'll get back with it and hopefully I'll have like answers and stuff, okay? Okay, no, there's nothing. I couldn't find anything at least. Okay. Now, where was it? It was this one? No, no, it wasn't this one. It was the other one. Whoa, what was that? Sorry, I heard some sound coming out of my apartment. Oh, coming from my apartment. It scared me, it spooked me. Okay, west. And then I guess this one goes in the middle. Whoa. I think I found the key you lost. I didn't lose it, I just, wait, where the hell did that even come from? I didn't put it in there. Someone wanted us to find this. They could have just like slipped it under my door or put it in my mailbox or something. Reality is a tangled web. A what? Never mind, we got the key now. Let's go check out the temple. Uh -huh. Nothing left to do here? Okay. Okay, um, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll just finish this whole, I'll, I'll just finish everything. Alright, let's open this up. Nope, other bedroom. Two 
two hours later. Everything seems normal here, Larry. Well, normal for Addison apartments at least. What about all those teeth and the glowing bird cake thing and the key? I guess that was a little odd. This feeling won't go away either. Something bad is coming, dude. I don't know what or when, but I can feel it. You may be right. I'll fill Todd in when he's home and we can come over later tonight with his gadgets. Okay, when is he out of class? He should be out by now, but I'm supposed to meet up with Ash, remember? Oh, right. You should bring her along. I think we should go easy on her for now. With the paranormal stuff? That's true. Plus, if she tagged along, things didn't go too well. Man, that was like a year ago now. Seems like every year this goes by faster and faster. They definitely do. Also, don't forget that we're all getting together for dinner tomorrow night. Heh, <laughs> how could I forget? Between you and Ash, I've got like a thousand texts about it. Hey, Ashley. Oh, she's so cute. Sal, I'm so excited to see you. I miss you so much. I, uh, I miss you too, Ash. You cut your hair. I like it. Thanks. It's easier for riding. I see you've changed your hair as well. Oh, yeah, I guess. Looks rad, though I do but kind of miss the pigtails. <laughs> Man, I should turn kind into of a kind of a badass. Look at her. I haven't been, I haven't been out to the lake since last time we went to Seattle. What's that? I said it's been a long time since I've been to the lake. Me too. It's so nice out there. Peaceful. Man, she's turned into a badass. Like, I ship them so hard. They are adorable. So, Q and Dan all good now? Yeah, we're good. What was up? Who the fuck's been? So what was all that about? Stupid sibling stuff. He called me soulless because I didn't cry at grandma's- Oh. Okay, for a second I thought he- I thought that she actually was with some other dude and I was gonna be so mad. He said I wasn't a human because I never cry and blah 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 blah. Then it turned into a big argument as if I wasn't sad enough about grandma. Anyway, the point is we made up and we're okay now. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen you cry. Well, I must be some kind of soulless monster. Grr, ah. You better watch out, we kill monsters like you around these parts. No, you better watch out, there ain't no monster you want to be messing with. Damn, it's fighting words, Missy. I hope you kiss your mama goodbye this morning. <laughs> How have you been, Sally Face? I've been good. That's good to hear, though I get the feeling that that's not the full truth. Things have been mostly good. I just, I don't know. I guess I didn't want to wear you down with myself. Sal, we're best friends. That's why I'm here for. Don't be silly. So go on. Crush me with your weight. And I've said this before, but you know, you don't have to wear that around me. My face? Your mask. But it's like a part of me now. It's the face I wear in public. The face I wear all the time. I just want you to know that you don't have to wear it. If you don't want to, it's just you and me out here. No one else is around. Aww. That's so cute. Like, oh, I love her so much. Um, how have you been? I've been okay, you know, but I'm starting to feel better now that I'm out of the city. I thought you liked the city. I love the city. It's great and there's always cool things happening. I just don't love living there. It's so noisy all the time and so crowded. You can't hear yourself think sometimes. I could see that. The longer you spend there, it starts feeling like you're losing your connection to nature. As weird as it sounds, I've been missing our feel. I've missed the fresh air and the nature. I miss seeing the stars at night and being able to hang out with my friends. We miss you too, Ash, though I don't think we'll be seeing any stars tonight. No, it's a storm whirling in. I know it's that. Looks like we may get rained on. Uh, what about art school? I think I'm gonna take some time off from school. I feel like pretty burnt out. Do you think you'll go back? Probably. I just need to figure some things out first. I might take a few classes at the community college while I'm getting my shit together. Oh, that'd be cool. Larry's also thinking about going. He mentioned that. I was surprised. I don't think he'd go to college route. Me neither. It could be like old times again. The whole crew back in school. Um, are you happy? Is anyone really happy? It seems like a lot of people are content with their jobs, with their family, their lives. But that can't be real, can it? I mean, we're all just going to die anyway. So what's the point? Whoa, dude. That was a sharp turn into heavy street. Sorry. No, it's okay. I know what you mean. I feel like that sometimes too. You know that. Yeah. But you were always the one to say that would make life precious and about going, trying to enjoy it while it lasts. I think you were right about that. Are you sure you're okay, Sal? I'm getting a little worried about you. I don't know. I guess I am feeling off. It just feels like everything is wrong. What do you mean? It feels like nothing puts me at ease. It's this constant feeling of discomfort, like my soul isn't aligned with my body. I just feel like screaming at the sky until it breaks apart. Well, well what? 
Let's do it. I don't know. Come on. I bet you'll feel better. Ah! Oh, he took his mask off and everything. That's so precious. It really is precious. I, lo I love it so much. Hey, Todd. Hey, you back from your date with Ashley already? I don't think it was a, a date, but yeah. Whatever you say, Sal. How did it go? It was nice seeing her. It's gonna be good having her back. Indeed. Ashley's a good egg, and our investigation could benefit from the female perspective. Additionally, simply having fresh eyes on our research could prove useful. Speaking of, Larry and I think there's something weird going on in the apartments again. I told him that I'd bring you over tonight to check it out. Perfect. Just give me an opportunity to test out the new things I've been working on. Give me a few minutes to get ready. Sure, let me know whenever you're ready to head over. Will do. Sal, I'm sorry, dude. Please don't blame yourself. What you mean? Oh, I can't even exit it. Sorry, for what? What are you talking about? It's time for me to go. You better not be doing anything stupid. It's too late. I'll be gone soon. Stop messing around later. This isn't funny. Hey? Larry? What? What's going on? Pick up. Pick up the phone, Larry. You better pick up. Oh god, Larry. Uh-oh, what's going on? What's, what's, go what's going on? I think I've never- I don't think I've ever seen him actually run. Oh man, what's going on? Larry? Larry? Um, what else could it be? Larry Lesbian? Where the hell are you? Um, let me check outside. Oh man. Is he okay? A note? What? No. No. Larry, what did you do? Larry, why? What? What happened? Is this how Larry dies? Because Larry's a ghost. Oh, oh no. I was so excited to see Sal. I didn't realize how different he was acting at first. We were hanging out by Rendigo Lake. I started noticing more. At the time though, he just seemed sad to me. I thought maybe he had stopped taking his medications. Miss Campbell, at any point during your date with Sal, did you ever feel as if you were in danger or threatened at all? No, sir. It was nothing like that. Sal was one of the sweetest boys I knew. I always felt safe being around him until later that night. Can you please explain what you witnessed at the treehouse? It wasn't too long after I got home from the lake that Sal called me. Maybe about an hour or so? He was clearly shaken up and I could tell from his voice that he had been crying. He told me that Larry was dead. I begged him to call 911. I told him if he did, then I would. And did either of you call 911? No. The boys had me convinced since high school that there was a conspiracy in Knoxville involving the police, that they couldn't be trusted. So I went against my better judgment and didn't make the call. I rode over to the apartments right away. When I got to the treehouse, Sal was acting weird, talking to himself, pacing back and forth. Obviously, he was upset. We both were, but I had never seen him like that before. I tried to get him to calm down, but he kept rambling on about cultists and some impending evil. He said Larry was in a treehouse. I took him and he got my nerves. I wasn't sure what was going on, if Larry was really dead or if Sal had lost it. I went up into the treehouse, but there was nothing out of place in there except for an empty booze bottle. Oh, Have you ever known Sal to be a drinker? Not at all. Sal hardly touched his stuff. He once told me he was afraid to get drunk because addiction runs in his family, and he didn't want to become an alcoholic. So I knew something was really wrong. Larry wasn't anywhere to be seen. And Sal was starting to really worry me. I tried to calm down and reason with him, but he was not receptive to it. 
We tried to get him inside, but he wouldn't budge. We got into an argument. It was the only time we had ever argued. I had to walk away from him. I couldn't be around like him like that. And I didn't want to make him worse. Before I left, I let Henry, Henry and Lisa know that Sally needed help. Then they looked after him and I told them to call me if they needed me. I felt horrible leaving Sally like that. I just did, I didn't know what to do. I wish I could have stayed there. I should have stayed with him. I sat by my phone all night until I got the second call. Wow. About 10 minutes after Ashley left, Todd showed up. He figured something was wrong so that I left so suddenly and wasn't answering his text. He drove over an event with Todd Gero. I told Todd what Larry did. We both needed time to collect ourselves. Larry was our best friend. The four of us were like family, like I said earlier. Wow. What happened to his body? I'm not sure. He's trying to tell me something, but it's all broken up. I think he's having trouble communicating with us. Let's try out the new gear. I think it will help. Hold on. Alright, with the necro light modifications, I made here a guitar. I believe we'll be able to manipulate the spirit world in some capacity. How does it work? Turn on using the G button there. You'll notice that I've added 12 symbols to the neck of the guitar. Place the corresponding notes to activate the symbol. Play as you normally do. Select a group of notes that the J, K, L. Do some in the notes in that group. Try playing all 12 notes. Okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> What happened? Todd? Larry? Hello? Ghost of Allison Rosenberg. Hello, my dear Sally. Who are- Rose? The light from your guitar contains magic from another world. It seems that the prophecy may have been true after all. Uh, what? There is a time to explain. You must use this power to stop them. The devourers of God have served despite our best efforts to stop them. What the hell was that? A ripple across the fabric of reality. It has begun. You must destroy the barrier of spells to reach the source and put an end to it. How will I do that? Use the power of the Necrolite. You'll need help from the spirit room to reveal what is hidden to you. I cannot be of help in this regard, as I must remain within the black room. Though I can temporarily release your friend Larry from that which binds him, he will be your eyes in the other side. Godspeed, dear Sally. Okay. Sal, huh? You scared the crap out of me. You did speak and there was an intense sound that shook the treehouse. Where were you? I, uh, I guess the guitar worked. I saw Rosenberg. She said the cold is back. We need to stop this girl. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell? How did... Larry! I think I was helping us somehow. I was stuck in that damn treehouse so long. It's only been a few hours to do. You asshole! How did you do this? Why is he leaving? Why? What? Exactly! Like, how could you, Larry? I'm sorry, dude. I really am, but we don't have much time. Rose has a cold to you now. She has to be soft tonight. It's not going to be easy. I just can't believe this is real. I can't believe you're really gone. Come on, Sal. Let me be fucking out once and for all. Okay, um... I think... Oh. Yeah, that's right. And then... Oh. Oh! Aha! Larry, this is a dance zone. Press R to speak tightly from the power of the You must use this ancient metal to assist Sally. What did you do? Hello? Poor oh, Larry. Oh. You know, I think it's so cool you can change characters and play both of them. Okay, let me check around and see these people. Alright, uh, so there's nothing here. Um, let me see what Clarence is doing. Is he still up there? Okay, yeah.
Okay. So I should be able to open this door. Yep. Oh, I'm scared. 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 Oh, I'm... Nothing here? Should have been something here. Why else would this room be closed? Oh, okay. Larry! Save the day! Oh, I'm scared. Oh, what's over here? Oh, shit! The shapeless man walks in awkward strides. The shapeless man walks in awkward strides. I don't like you. I guess he's always been a ghost then. Yep. He's just a ghost. Okay. Weird. Larry. Alright, let's check over here. Huh, there's no handle. Okay, drop down. Leave this for. There had to be something else to this, right? Maybe a. Ooh, I don't like you at all. Oh, I don't like this at all. <laughs> oh, it's a key. What's this key for? 504 key. Okay. 502. 503. 504. Oh, I'm scared. Oh. Ooh, something's gonna scare me, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. Where's Larry at? Where's your Larry? So freaking weird. This whole thing is so freaking weird. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I am scared. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I hate stuff like this. Oh, I hate it so much. I love it. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I love it. I just... Oh, man. Okay. Okay, I think that's totally cool. I hate it though. I hate it so much. Okay. Again. Mumbling. It's not here. She's not alive anymore. And we won't be. We're so hungry now in the skin. This fucking skin is so itchy. Why? The skin isn't mine. The skin isn't mine. It's not mine. The fuck is this shit? Okay, I don't like this at all. This thing is scary. This whole thing's scary. I don't like it. It's spooky. It's very, very, very spooky. I don't like it. Just, why does it have to be so goddamn scary? <laughs> nope. Okay, I don't see anything. But you never know. So I'm just gonna have to go with Larry. Oh, Sally, I meant. <laughs> oh, okay, nothing's in here. Man, this bathroom is so big. Why do they have such a big bathroom? Okay, I think I'm done with this. So I'm gonna bring Larry. And then drop down, yes. Okay. Oh wow, the eyes are bloodshot. What are you guys doing? We're watching TV. But what's the point, really? These shows are all the same. Everything becomes so predictable. Um, it's just static. Are you doing alright? We're fine, Sal. Just fine. Everything peachy. Okay? Ooh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. 